Hi, today we're going to talk about macOS 26 Tahoe Beta 7, build 25A5346A, released on August 18th, 2025. This is already the seventh test version, and it shows that Apple is getting closer to the final release. At this stage, the company usually doesn't add new features anymore, but focuses on refinement and bug fixes. Still, these builds are very important because they reveal just how ready the system is for the general public. The update is distributed through system settings as a Delta package, and its size varies depending on the model. On a MacBook Air with the M4 chip, it takes about 10.5 gigabytes, while on my MacBook Pro with the M4 Pro, it only required 3.25 gigabytes. This is fairly typical for later betas, where you don't get massive bundles of new features, but there are still plenty of fixes. The update installs on all supported devices, MacBook Pro and Air models from 2020 and newer, iMac from 2020 and up, as well as Mac Mini and Mac Studio with M-series chips. It's worth noting that Apple Silicon runs the most reliably, while owners of older Intel machines should pay closer attention to user feedback. Apple rarely releases macOS on its own. Alongside this beta, updates also arrived for iOS 26, iPadOS 26, watchOS 26, and even tvOS. This is standard practice. The company tests all of its platforms in sync so that by the time of the official release, they are fully compatible with each other. An interesting detail is that Public Beta 3 came out just a few days before Developer Beta 7, which points to a very tight schedule. Apple is speeding up releases to be ready before the September iPhone event. This pace is a clear signal that we're almost at the finish line. The most interesting part is what has actually changed in this version. Focus on stability. Unlike earlier builds, where we saw new icons, the liquid glass design, and the new phone app, here there are almost no visual changes. But you can clearly feel that the system has become more stable and more responsive. Safari Update When you open Safari and scroll through a web page, you'll notice a new translucency effect in the toolbar. This subtle visual change makes the browser look cleaner and more modern, and it wasn't present in the previous betas. Spotlight fixes. Search now runs commands faster and without freezing. In beta 6, many users reported that Spotlight often failed to show apps correctly, but those issues have now been resolved. Accessibility bug fix. In earlier betas, the accessibility keyboard icon could sometimes remain stuck in the menu bar, even when it wasn't needed. In beta 7, that problem has been fixed and the icon no longer appears randomly. Known alarm bug. Apple has acknowledged that in some cases alarms may not go off if the Mac has been asleep for a long time. The temporary workaround is to disable automatic display sleep. It's clearly not a perfect fix, but it shows that the company is addressing even small details. Performance. Users are noting that apps now open faster, and the lags seen in Beta 6 are almost completely gone. Even heavy programs like Final Cut and Xcode launch noticeably quicker. In Geekbench tests, Beta 7 scored 3,686 in single-core and 15,119 in multi-core, slightly lower than Beta 6, but still very strong for daily use. Battery. Early tests show that the MacBook Air can last about 9 to 10 hours under moderate load. This is comparable to, or even a bit better than, Beta 6. For a beta release, that's an excellent result. If you're already on the beta, this update is definitely worth installing. Beta 7 feels noticeably more stable and reliable than the previous version. But if your Mac is used for work or study and you need absolute dependability, it's better to wait for the release candidate or the official release. It's important to understand that this version is all about polish, not about new features. For enthusiasts, it's a great way to make sure the system is ready, while for cautious users, it's a good reason to wait just a couple more weeks. Apple usually switches to a weekly release schedule after the fifth beta. This means we could see beta 8 as soon as a week from now, but it's also quite possible that the company will skip it and move straight to a release candidate, or RC. Typically, Apple unveils the RC right after the September iPhone event, which, according to rumors, is set for September 9th. That would put the final release of macOS 26 about a week later, roughly mid-September. For users, this means the wait is almost over. We're now on the final stretch. 
So macOS 26 Beta 7 is not about new features. It's about stability, speed, and fine-tuning the system. Everything runs noticeably smoother, the battery holds up well, and there are fewer bugs overall. The next update will most likely be the final step before release. That means the official version of macOS 26 Tahoe is just around the corner, and it's a great reason to wait for its public launch.